What's up, fam? This is your girl, Amanda, and I'm coming back to y'all with yet another video. So let's talk Tisha Campbell Martin and Dwayne Martin. So y'all know they have been going through a very bitter divorce battle since last year. They were married for 27 years, a very long time, almost three decades, and they have two children together, two sons, Ezekiel and Zen. And I think that's how you pronounce his name. So don't come for me if I pronounced it wrong, okay? But they have been going through a messy, messy divorce. And it's getting more complicated by the day, right? So y'all know they had, like, financial problems. They went through a bankruptcy. They actually got a loan from Will Smith for, like, a million dollars. Tisha accused Dwayne of hiding money from her. Dwayne was seeking spousal support from Tisha. And then she said that he threatened to keep their sons from her. And now, y'all, get this. Now she is saying that Dwayne physically abused her for years. Physically abused her for almost the entirety of their marriage. Yes. And the report says that Tisha has been granted a restraining order based on some very alarming allegations. She says Dwayne has been emotionally, mentally, and physically abusive to her for years. Wow, dang. Y'all, this, this is a, a prime example. If this is true, that you never know what goes on behind closed doors. You never know. People go out in public, they smile. But behind closed doors, they could be fighting like cats and dogs. In the report, okay. it says that Tisha decided to go public about the abuse she claims she's faced at the hands of her estranged husband, Dwayne, after an incident in December. She filed for the restraining order on January 24th, stating that when she went to the home they shared to see their son, who was sick at the time, Dwayne allegedly grabbed me by my arm to try to get me in the bathroom. However, she said in a sworn statement that things had actually been volatile, including physically, since right after they said, I do, in 1996. Wow. For all those years, wow. She said, I kept things hidden from my family, his family, our friends, and the public, save a very few close friends and people who may have witnessed over the past two decades, filing it away in the back of my mind to protect my family the community, and the public's persona of my spouse. I always thought of myself as a strong woman and keeping it moving with a positive trait, but it was a cover-up for the truth, and truthfully, I was scared. I'm scared now of the ramifications and what he may do, but I owe it to myself and my kids to follow through with this report and at least share a few incidences. Some of the incidences shared in Tisha's affidavit include claims that her estranged husband would hold her up against the wall by her neck, choking her, and that he punched her in the upper chest and shoulder during an argument, and that right before she moved forward with the divorce, he slapped her hand away when she pointed at the door to tell him to leave during an argument. The language used during the alleged arguments detailed in her filing were pretty rough, and Tisha also filed a police report on January 12th with the LAPD over past allegations that he pinned her against the wall and put his arm on her throat. The date of this particular incident she filed wasn't specified. She also accuses Dwayne of constantly belittling her specifically by talking negative about her weight questioning her intelligence saying she didn't contribute financially to the household telling her to stick to acting only yelling at her in front of her mother and brother and even going to people they know claiming she doesn't care about their kids some of the family and friends she mentioned in the affidavit also provided summary reports to share their own insight on what they saw within tisha and Dwayne's marriage Though those reports weren't made public, Tisha's restraining order filing was granted and Dwayne was ordered to stay 100 yards away from his estranged wife until a hearing in February. Their kids were not included in the restraining order. And as of yet, Dwayne has not responded. I'm kind of curious to hear his side of the story because there's always three sides to the story. There's her side, his side, and the actual truth. So he needs to speak out so I can hear what he got to say, okay? Because these allegations that she's saying are crazy, 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 crazy. You know, especially if he, if he's hitting her in the chest and the shoulders. That's like really, really foul, really foul. And especially if she went through this for almost 
what the whole time of their marriage the whole time of their marriage actually um that's that's crazy that's crazy very crazy so what's your thoughts about this whole situation? You know what you got to do. Comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe to my channel so you can see more videos like these. And y'all stay tuned for the next video. Alrighty. Bye.